सारे गामा पदा नहीं सा सरगम में कहीं खोया सा वैसे तुझसे दूर हर पल सजा है पर याद से तो बनता समा है चलो डूब जाए इंडी म्यूजिक के धुनों में हम सब क्योंकि गाना इंडी फेस्ट में आया हूं मैं कश्यप I think Kashyap as a kid was very underconfident but he was very creative and he always wanted people to notice how creative he was but overall I think he was a very fun kid as a kid like my parents always allowed me to do different things not just studies my parents allowed me explore other stuff my dad is a artist so he is really good at that it's something probably i picked from him but uh, painting cricket a lot of other stuff you know a lot of hand craft kind of stuff i used to do but yeah it was always fun for me to explore a lot of different things including music i have been in hyderabad all my life basically all my childhood i think hyderabad feels like home and bombay to me feels like workplace kind of thing i love coming here because the energy is high people are always very you know fast paced but uh, i love hyderabad music was just like a part of my life at the age of 6 my parents gifted me a small casio piano jo aata hai usually a lot of people have those so i still have it so it's they just gifted me and i just started playing random you know all these jingle bells and all of all these nursery rhymes but that's how i started but later after 10th i was just wanted to try new things that's when i started making original music idiom was very like popular so i was very influenced by martin garrix hardwell all those people so i started with edm and then i slowly you know started DJing and I got bored of it and I went to you know scoring stuff and later I just started singing and that's how I just I'm here probably <laughs> I'm usually good at all the creative stuff but I was never good at studies so I never had a choice but after 10th when I made music for the first time and I played it to my friends and I got a response which I never got before and I was very excited to make music and that's how I felt like music was my calling so yeah that's how I ended up choosing music as my profession while i'm making a song there's so many elements that i have to set right so it's like i feel even god has made this earth or life whoever made it i feel has put in time on the details like it can be trees or it can be how you know there are lines on our palms anything it can be i think the details and you can just see the beauty in it so i feel like as an artist when i'm creating something i am probably the creator of it so in life also somebody must have created this a certain way so when i am creating a song i feel like i feel the same things that probably the creator of the universe probably felt that's how i mean that you know music teaches a lot about life I started scoring like trailer music so I started working with this company in LA called as Six Trailer Music so I started my journey with them in 2018 they always pitched my music and uh, actually the songs that that's used in tra- trailers of Spider-Man is Start the Machine and it was used for some other film in 2020 but it didn't end up you know in the trailer and I was kind of very sad but later on in 2021 on the release day of Spider-Man No Way Home that is December 16th if I'm not wrong I got this uh, call from them that you know the trailer they've used your music in the teasers trailers tv spots so i ended up searching it on youtube right away and i found it i couldn't believe it because spider man it's like my childhood's favorite character so it's like a big thing and i was just jumping at 2 am in the morning so from the least ones i think definitely khoyasa is my favorite and it's something that came out of my life but other than that i think tere bina like tere bina is a very special song to me because i was inspired to write that song and it's a song that came from my heart and it's also connected to a lot of people so i'm just very happy about that i play piano i play the acoustic guitar i play the electric guitar i play the bass guitar but i'm not really like professional at these but i know how to you know work my way around it so yeah these are the four instruments that i play but other than that i try playing percussions but i'm not really that good at that but yeah overall these are the instruments i play for me always as an artist i feel like i should be very versatile because i like to try things i like to constantly evolve to kind of i i want my audience to grow with me so if i constantly evolve and the audience grow i think overall it'll create a very wholesome effect antariksham was my first film that i scored i worked with uh, the original composer of the film uh, prashant vihari he messaged me on facebook that you know we need some score stuff and i'm since i was doing edm i was very good with electronic stuff so he was like i like your sound let's just work on some music so that's how i just went and i started making that was the first time i experienced like listening to my music on a big screen so that had a really big effect and i am a huge nolan fan i love sci-fi films all these kind of films so antariksham being a sci-fi film really pushed me 
to try different things uh, and create something that is new and the same way i worked with jibran uh, on saho and jv prakash on asuran both of them are amazing composers and uh, these genres are very different like saho is fully action packed and very intense and uh, asuran is very massy and very raw sounding so like i said i think i just i'm just glad that i got these opportunities to explore different sides because i think if you explore stuff i think you just get better musically so yeah i'm just grateful that i got these opportunities i feel like ai is uh, i think it'll be best if it's probably like another instrument for us i think it should make things easier for us but not take away the human element i think ai can never replace the human element because i think humans are known for their mistakes i think that's what makes us human so ai cannot make mistakes i think it's best for us if we use ai in a way where it's pushing us to do things better rather than you know just relying on them totally i think audience know the best like they know what they want it's not like we never force people to listen to english music or you know in fact any language people just love music i think music is doesn't have any boundaries it's just that the creator should be authentic with his or her music that it attracts the right audience so i think the only way you can you know bridge that gap is by just putting the music that you want to put out and not think about audience sunenge nahi sunenge because i feel every song has its own audience and its place in the universe so just put your music out and just hope that people like like it that's all you can do yeah that is i think a very is just a popular term people are using but i feel like it's manifestation is nothing but you putting time and effort into one thing it's you working towards the goal so i think if you're working and putting the work into it and i feel that is how it manifests so i think yeah i don't manifest anything but i just put time and effort into what i want so i have three idols because these people really influenced my music and my musical journey so it is bruno mars justin timberlake and rehman sir I think these people have you know had a very profound effect on me but uh, I think the overall music that they put out is very rich and timeless so that's something I like to take as an artist I like to take that in and you know probably try to <laughs> put it into my music and probably people also feel the same about what I'm doing I was very scared <laughs> I was I don't know if I can I was shitting my pants but I was just very nervous because as a, like I said I was a very un- underconfident kid and I was very self conscious about things so I was like worrying about my hair ki sahi hai ki nahi or like am I I don't know I was thinking about everything singing like to the people they just look into you I, when they look at me I just feel like people are looking into my soul so it's like I just feel very naked on stage although I'm not but I feel very alive on stage and that's what pushed me you know become a better performer i guess but the first time i ever went on stage it was just this rush was there that was just amazing i think that's how it's like a, i'm addicted to it so i just want to go back every time and get that rush i think being in front of stage and just pe- letting people judge you can be in a good way or a bad way but point is me being confident about who i am i think i discovered myself again on stage bruno mars rehman sir i think these people i definitely want to like work on something even can be a just a vocal piche se background vocal kuch bhi ho jaye i just want to like work with them and just share what they have given me although they might have not known kya diye hai but i think yeah i just want to tell them how much i love them so and hopefully get to work with them I think the new thing that I'm doing right now is getting into film making which is acting also all these other stuff I think that is my current obsession but music will always be my safe space like if I have something to cry about or something to laugh about I think music is what I go and music is the first thing that I share with because like I said music is very personal to me but right now I'm really exploring my like acting side or filming is that because I think there's a lot of storytelling that I want to tell and music can only do so much so those are other options that I'm also trying to explore but for now making music is my main goal I just look forward to write more songs and probably perform more cuz I love performing right now whenever I write a song I think about performing how am I going to perform because I think seeing people just interacting live when you're singing I think that is a great experience that I had in the past 6 to 6 months to 1 year I think I had a great experience with that so right now I'm just I just hopefully in the next 5 years probably I'll have 
massive hits and i'll probably do a world tour and stuff and i think that's my main goal and that's my that's been my main dream ever since i saw like what ashiki 2 that was the first film that i've seen where i know i used to play all this tum hi ho all these songs i'm a huge fan of arjit singh so yeah i think doing a world tour probably doing these crazy records is my main goal but then then like i said film making stuff definitely i think overall i just want to direct at least one film before i die so that's my main big goal but i think uske liye time hai but abhi ke liye to it's just music yeah a am b is uh, badam d dahi puri faluda or something g for h hakka noodles ice cream yeah yeah k kadai paneer <laughs> garam chai n नमकीन हल्दीराम नमकीन जो बोलते हैं आई गेस दैट वर्क्स या पानी पूरी आर रोटी एस इज सांभार ऑफकोर्स आम ए साउथ इंडियन समोसा दिस सो मेनी थिंग्स यार मैं बैड एट दिस क्लियरली डाउनलोड द गाना ऐप नाउ